Hi, my name's Sarah and today I'm going to be running a half marathon at the Garmin New Forest Marathon Weekend in the hope of getting a PB and my watch is going to pace me. These hills are savage. Sorry I can't speak to you in this bit because I'm going all out. Very glad there's a shower at the end of this. I've got 20 seconds to spare. This is the closest it could possibly be. First though, if you want to join the fastest growing community of runners in the world, then hit subscribe and give this a like. Please cheer me on. I'm going to need all the help I can get. There is nothing better than the feeling of getting a shiny new PB, but sometimes it can feel like an impossible task. Unless you can guarantee that the course is entirely flat or that no one is going to get in your way, it can be really hard to predict what pace you need to be running at. Am I the only one that goes a little bit stir crazy before hitting that start line? Thankfully, my watch has agreed to do all of the thinking for me today. So I'm going to be using Pace Pro on my Garmin in order to guide me through the route. Now, my current PB for a half marathon is one hour and 56 minutes, meaning this is going to be quite a tricky run in order to beat that. Now, the course is pretty undulating as well, so that's going to make it even harder. But I am in the middle of marathon training, so I need to make sure that this run is at the right intensity. I guess we better do this. Right, walking to the start line. Let's do this. So I've got it set up on my watch. Ready to go. Off we go, over the line. Start the walk. Still in the first K. <laughs> Regular updates. Um, I am on track for 5.10 for my first split, which I'm pretty chuffed with, to be honest, because running on grass, not my forte <laughs> but the watch is great tells me what my split is tells me how ahead i am overall because that's the worst bit of the maths isn't it when you're running along anything longer than a 5k and you have to add up all the kilometer splits and work out how much time you have how much leeway you have but i don't have to do any of that so you use Garmin Connect to map out your course or to choose from hundreds of pre-made courses mapped out in the app. Then you enter your target pace and voila, the app does the rest for you. So the map will highlight the difference in elevation and pace adjustments on each section of the route so you can be prepared ahead of your run. You can, and this is really cool, also adjust the pacing so that you can run even, positive or negative splits. I'm keeping this nice and simple. I'm going to run even splits because I'm not sure how I'm going to feel at the end of this. As well as this, you can decide if you want to run hard at the hills and recover on the downhills or take it easy on the uphills and push on the downs. Then you save it, send it to your watch and it will keep you right on race day. Pace Pro simplifies all of your running preferences into one plan, helping you to look ahead, manage your race and achieve new goals. My favourite thing about this is it breaks the race down into subsections, meaning once you've selected your course profile, all of your metrics will be aligned and you will run a better race. You can set the split to be every mile or kilometre or based on elevation so it tells you how fast you need to pace each flat uphill and downhill section so I just turn the corner and there is a disgusting so if you can see that kind of undulating hill these hills are savage like I want to cry hating this savage if you're enjoying my pain please give this video a thumbs up I need it. I'm currently running with Gemma. Gemma is smashing it. I am not, I need to go faster. If you are thinking of doing a kind of more trail, 5K, 10K, half, full marathon, whatever is your preferred distance, this is so useful because there aren't gonna be as many people there if you're at kind of a big road race but your watch kind of becomes your personal coach. I just stacked it. There's probably mud on the lens. Oh dear. I need to get my breathing back. Very glad there's a shower at the end of this because I am covered in mud. And there's a sign saying, wine now, wine later. Very accurate. Very accurate. If you've had a really tough race recently and you struggle with motivation or your maths is rubbish, then honestly, having your watch do it for you 
is an absolute lifesaver <laughs> and uh, we like being lifesavers at the running channel so we're going to be giving away a Garmin watch to one of you lucky viewers so that you don't have to do any thinking <laughs> I, uh, in your running either all you have to do to enter is like this video if you haven't already I told you to like it huh? <laughs> joking like this video drop a comment down below and you can be in with a chance of winning right i am almost at 9k i am not going to be referencing the camera that much because i am scared of falling over again <laughs> i'm 22 seconds behind what i want to be overall but this train is too technical to go any faster than the pace it's asking me to so i'm just going to try and stick at pace and make it up later on not sure a pb is possible this is one of the hardest routes i've ever done i've had a gel i had some water but my legs are just completely in bits okay we're back in the shade i'm three minutes behind but that still means that i'm three minutes ahead of my current pb <laughs> Coming into the Garmin aid station, I see happy people. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> Look at these guys! This is going to be tight. 4:34 behind. My legs are aching. I need to cr crack on and pick up the pace. I've got 20 seconds to spare. This is the closest it could possibly be. Right, this is it. Leave nothing on the table. Sorry, I can't speak to you in this bit because I'm going all out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> That was the hardest race I've ever done. And that was honestly the most disgusting thing I've ever done. And up until today, I was always like, ooh, trail running, a trail half, a trail marathon. That sounds great. No, no. But if you are going to do one, Oh my goodness, get yourself a Pace Pro watch because I walked and I still did that, which baffles me. And if anyone, if anyone comments down below saying, imagine how fast you, time you could have got if you didn't walk, I will find you and pour water over you. Wow, <laughs> I am speechless. That race had a lot of firsts for me. That was my first ever half marathon race. That was my first time falling over in a race. And that was my first time using Pace Pro in a race. And aside from the first two, I was so happy with how that went. It was so hard, so technical, so warm, so hilly, but I came away with something that I am really, really proud of. Now it was close <laughs> and at the start of this video I said that my previous half marathon PB which I just ran by myself last year was one hour and 56 minutes now I didn't go into seconds but I'm gonna have to because that's how close this was so my previous PB was one hour 56 minutes and 39 seconds and today I ran one hour 56 minutes dead that's the time that I got on my watch still waiting for an official chip time but either way I am so so pleased with that but I absolutely would not have been able to do that without using Pace Pro it was so valuable especially on such a hilly course in such difficult conditions really really valuable do you want to give Pace Pro a go have you got any races coming up where it will be a valuable tool let us know in the comments down below and make sure you drop a comment to be in with winning a Garmin watch and we will see you next time on the running channel.